What's all that about? Cocks crowing. Oh. So is it true when the when the egg comes out of the chicken that it's all soft and the shell only hardens when it hits the air? Hmm. I think that's the kind of knowledge that should be more widely available. We'll start telling a few people. Your dad, you know, I think your dad has started a whispering campaign against me. Mm-hmm. You know, <sighs> putting it about that I'm a crappy photographer. Don't be ridiculous. Well, maybe he's angry with you. I know that, yeah, but why? Mm, married me for a start. Mm, you don't take him seriously. People in the village take him seriously. He's used to it. I've had a go with that. I'm not doing it again. I well, didn't you and Dad just slap your penises down on the table and sort it out? Yeah, thanks for the image. I won't ask you to hop up on a table with my mother and some vegetables and go through the same thing. Oh, you know what I mean. Well, I need the business, you know. I can't go under before I've started. I mean, then what am I going to do around here? Count cowpats or what? Well, don't, you just got to get out more and, you know, put yourself about. You must be glad you came back from London. Yeah. I'm glad I went away. Ah, the gift of cheerfulness. In my experience, <clears throat> children mistrust cheerful people. Uh-huh. Hmm. They see happiness as weakness. Hmm. Hello. Hello. Hi. Headmaster, you've not met my husband, Ian. No, how are you doing? Hello, nice to meet you. Hello. It's a lovely, lovely school you have here. It's a picturesque school. Do we think that's the same thing? Um, I was wanting to talk to you, actually, about the, the school photo. Uh, I, I, I just believe it was due to be We use Mr. Webb. Well, I, I'm sort of the, the new Mr. Webb. I, I took over his business, you see, so I was hoping that you... You have a portfolio you can show me, then. Oh, yes. Portfolio, yes. I'll, I'll bring Why it in. Why don't you bring it in? I will. I'll, I'll, I'll bring it in. You'll bring it in, will you? Cannot be this complicated. Flash focal. Shutter priority, shift lens, sheet plan, red eye reduction, fogging, focusing. Slave unit. Do you have a slave unit? What about snap and cheese? Anamorphic? No, too many syllables. You're just a box. Dark room. My dark room. String, pegs. Do it. Page one. Mm, that's too many words. No, no. Mr. Webb, come back. Well, first of all, the man and woman have to love each other very, very much. And then the man puts his seed into the woman and the seed and the egg go together and that turns into a baby. Does it hurt? No. Where does he get his seed? Well, the man already has his seeds inside of him. Does that hurt? No. Hi, Joe. Hi. Hiya. Hi. I've uh, left the crepe paper for the happy monster in the small cupboard. Thanks, Derek. Just like to say how great it is you're back. Thank you. Um, I missed you. Do you want to go and play? No. Go on. Go and play. No. Will you stop trying to pull her tooth out, Gemma? It will come out when it's ready. Why does she do that? Animals. That one's, uh, not very good. What's this? It's a Paris, uh, in the 1950s. I had to evoke the atmosphere of the 1950s. It's not in focus. It was a very weird time, the 1950s. Hmm. If I let you photograph my school children, I trust you'll limit yourself to evoking Snell Primary School in the 1990s. Yes, that'll be the effect I'd want. What's this? The American actress, Pamela Anderson. So I've seen her in the newspaper, have I not? Yes, it was at press conference. It was very tricky because of the re-diffused revelation. You had to a special polarity, special emotion. And this is all your work, is it? Oh, yes, 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 it is. 
Have you taken school photographs before? Not specifically, but I've always loved children. It wouldn't be necessary for you to love them. Well, I will award you the contract. Oh, goody. I mean, thank you, Headmaster. But don't expect me to appear in your photograph. Oh, why not? Don't you? Well, you should. It'll be probably quite a... No, perhaps not. not. I'll... Thank you. Good. I'll just take these back to the monastery. Can I have a look at my new window? Did you know orange is the new brown? Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, chic! Yes. It's my spring look. I thought lots of daffodils and duckies and bunnies, you know. It's great. You could do some new mannequins, eh? Why, what's wrong with them? Yours looks like Maha Hindley. Yeah, she does a bit. Well, I sometimes put her hands up so you can't see her face, but... Uh -huh. This is good. Oh, thanks. Mm. I I'd say it's floppy, but not too floppy. But that depends on your definition of floppy. Hello. Oh, hi. Hi. Been looking for you. I can't talk to you at school and I can't ring you at home, hi, so... Hi, Derry. Oh, well, let me send you a blouse for your mum. No, thank no? you. Or some pants. For yourself, some panties. Are you sure? OK. <laughs> All right, yeah, I've got some crop tops I need to sort out. Let's see. I'm sorry, Lisa, just working with you again. It's just opened up all this... I don't think we should talk about this in a bit more private. Me and Ian have been together for some time now. So have we. You've got to put that behind you. I'm not going to give up hope. You have to. Oh, Lisa, there's, there's just no generosity in him. There is. Honestly, he's, he's just under a bit of pressure. Derek, I'm married to Ian. We love each other and we're staying together. Let's try it on, shall we? I think we'll use the one at the back. Ah! Uh. Morning. Morning. Oh. This is where you take your snaps. Have you come to commission a portrait? No. I know what I look like. Business? Flourishing. Really? So what's it like when business is quiet? I don't know. It's never been quiet. I've come to make you a business proposal. No? I'm going to give you £20,000 to divorce my daughter and leave the village. What? I'm giving you £20,000 to get out of our lives. I get the impression you don't consider me your ideal son-in-law. No. I consider you a piece of shit. Well, you can sit on the fence as much as you like, but... The devil will scrub the sneer off your face. I'm sorry, I didn't realise you were completely mad. Well, all, all right. OK. Let's do it. I'll go. Yeah, OK. God. But there are other conditions. I want your red pickup truck. What? Your red pickup truck at once. Ah, no, I can't have it. Then the deal's off. I'm not going. All right, have it. And the big bush in your front garden with the purple leaves. Why? I like it. It's nice. I want you to send it to me in a special big bush box. I'm glad you find this amusing. Well, I can do you amusement or rage. You'll never amount to anything down here. Nobody gets anywhere in this village without my patronage. Ah, oh, yes. The great patrons. Cosmo de' Medici, King Ludwig II of Bavaria, Catherine the Great, and Astley Yardley, West Sussex turkey farmer. 